Everybody, welcome back to uh, the office. It is a uh, brisk, cold day here in El Paso, Texas. It is actually snowing. It's a very strange day. So that's why I got this uh, fantastic sweater on. Anyhow, so this, uh, the cue of the day, it comes to us from Jake. Uh, Jake looks like he's from the, the Army. Uh, welcome, Jake, and uh, thanks for your service. Uh, veteran myself. So let's see what he has here. So Jake comes up, it's a pretty good question. He says, hey, uh, Dan, I watch your channel every day, and I get so much out of it. Great. Thanks for watching, first of all. Uh, my question is in reference to the statement that uh, portfolios nowadays should consist of gold, silver, and Bitcoin. This is what I was talking about uh, yesterday, a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, is that I think that everybody should have gold, silver, Bitcoin in their portfolio. And uh, he says, is there any expectation that as Bitcoin goes up, that gold holders will trade into Bitcoin and the gold price will fall and no longer remain a good store of value? I'm trying to determine if I should be investing in gold at all or only cryptocurrency. Thanks for your time. Look forward to uh, hearing from you. So uh, it's actually a great question. And uh, if my man Peter Schiff was here, uh, he would tell you, of course, uh, that uh, Bitcoin and digital assets are just stupid. Uh, so don't even try it. But uh, thankfully, he's not. He's got his own problems. And uh, I will just say that for me, I still believe that uh, you should have a little gold, silver, Bitcoin. Not because I'm just not a fan of putting all your eggs into one basket. Um, if I just had one stream of revenue, I think that would really hurt me, especially with what's going on uh, with the pandemic and everything else. And a lot of people out there, they only have one stream of revenue. They have their J-O-B, which uh, if you know what J-O-B is, it stands for just over broke. I, I never like jobs. I, I never like really working for somebody else. I think it just sucks. But not to get off topic, um, it's good to hedge your bet. And that's why I have a lot of digital assets and cryptocurrency. So, uh, when, I, when he says, well, you know, it's going to just kind of fall by the wayside and people will just get, get more into Bitcoin, uh, they will. Definitely they will. But again, I still think that you should put some of your money into gold. Now, if you're a gold bug, uh, I'm going to appeal to you too. Uh, I think you're, you're um, doing a mistake. You are mistaken. You should uh, hedge your bet. And I mean, gold might go up. Let's be honest, it might go up, especially what's going on, but you will never have uh, the returns that you could potentially get in digital assets, cryptocurrency, and specifically, uh, if you want to, you know, name one, Bitcoin. So yes, gold might go up to 2,500, 4,000. I, I have no idea. Uh, but Bitcoin could go up to, and if you watch yesterday's video, could go up to 500,000. And right now it's at 13,000. Could it go up to only 20,000? Yeah, but I mean, look, if it only goes to 20,000, you just gain $7,000. And, uh, uh, you know, let's, let's say it goes to 26,000, you doubled your money. I doubt you're gonna be able to do that with gold. It's still a great source. So uh, the question's pretty good. And then there's one more thing I was thinking about, which was this. If you have to look at uh, what is going on behind the scenes, who has all the wealth uh, in the world? And going away from the, the different theories, uh, there's a statistic out and it says that 60% uh, as baby boomers age, their percentage of total US wealth has increased from 20% to nearly 60% um, as far as the uh, US wealth. Now, I don't know what it is around the world, uh, but baby boomers, uh, depending on which statistic you look at, uh, somewhere in, in their you know, 58 years old and up, 62 and up, I can't always, always remember uh, how much it is because I always get a little confused. But uh, the older generation has most of the wealth in the United States, just how it is. And uh, they have been brought up on a principle, which is gold is something that you need to have as a store of value. So as time goes on, yeah, some will get it, some will understand, uh, but some will not, and they will just stick with gold. So again, I think you should put some in gold, but do I think you should put all in the gold or a majority? No, I think it's an asymmetrical investment, uh, which is uh, Bitcoin cryptocurrency digital assets. So I would just go that route. Anyhow, I hope that answers your question. Now, I can't really give you a percentage wise because that's, all, that's up for you. Uh, but for me, I am heavily into cryptocurrency and uh, also, uh, you know, uh, real estate and businesses. So uh, as far as a percentage, it's all up to you. Uh, for me, me personally, I think I would go a little bit higher on the crypto. And that's really all I can really tell you. I'm not a uh, financial analyst or a financial planner. So anyhow, hope that answers your question. Uh, let's jump back. All right, so that's it. So thanks for sticking with me. Uh, two things. First, don't forget, if you want that 20% off for Ledger, just use Digital Asset News uh, when you uh, check out. 
get uh, you know not a bad little discount there and then also uh, since we're here at the end I want to give shout outs to people who signed for digital asset news really appreciate it and uh, just some random stuff especially for the new ones so friends Braun hey buddy TV by Dan Zoo Ignacio Mela uh, Frankster or Maya Denise Chet Tom Cochran Sam Key, Sergeant Crypto. He's got a YouTube channel. Check that out. And then Johnny Bitcoin. So uh, thanks so much for signing up. Really appreciate it. If you like those types of videos, there's going to be two more that's going to pop up on your left and right. I'll let YouTube do their magic and figure out which ones are best for you. And that is it. So uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, see you in the next one.